Okay, well, first off, it's really, really hot outside. It's kind of hot in this room, too. Um, but whatever. Um, second, I want to show you guys my outfit because I like it. This is not the same shirt I was wearing the last time I showed you guys an outfit. This, this is a different shirt. This one has sleeves. That was a tank top. But, ah. Okay. If you can see this, I have this skirt, and I really like it. I searched for a really long time to find a, a high-waisted pleated black and or gray skirt, and I finally, uh, I finally found one. So there we go. And then the last part before I actually start this video is I have to share my love of kombucha with you guys because I've been drinking it for months now and it's like perfect. It's, it's cold and delicious and amazing. And I highly recommend you guys try it. So this video last night, me and my sister went to the 1050 showing of The Conjuring. And for anyone who follows my Instagram or knows me at all, knows that I get scared really easily and I am like terrified of scary movies. But I watch them anyways because I'm stupid. Um, but I like them. And my sister is like the same way but she gets scared more easily than I do. <laughs> so we went to see The Conjuring last night. This is my review of it. There are spoiler alerts in here if you have not seen it and plan on watching it. Do not watch this video. Um, I'll probably say the spoilers more towards the end. So like first it's just like the movie is about possession as a lot of scary movies have been lately. Um, it's based on a true story. How much of it was true, I'm not sure because they could take little little bits and pieces and turn it a lot and then they can still say it's based on true stories so I don't know how much of it was actually true. It's about a family who moves into a house. Um, the house is haunted by kind of like demons or, or things that evil spirits that will possess them or like latch on to them. Um, so it's, it's one of those classic movies where it's like the house is haunted and then the family gets affected by what the ha past events have happened to the house. In that way, it's very overdone storyline um, that I've seen a lot of times in movies past. But the family is a family of seven, I think, um, and they move into this house. I don't know, I don't remember why they moved to this house. I think it's because, like, the dad switched jobs or something, but I can't really remember. <laughs> it was late. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but, okay, here's a spoiler alert. If you fast forward through this part if you don't want to hear it. The why the house is haunted, they find out, is because, um, the lady who used to live there did witchcraft, and she cursed the house, and whoever tried to take her land she would come back and like kill and she like hung herself from the tree oh also another part of the story is the um helping the family are these two people who like hunt demonic spirits kind of like like if you've ever seen those movies where people have to go to the vatican to have it passed to the vatican to have an exorcism done that they're exorcists but they've never actually done it they're more like haunted collectors and the the guy who also plays strong's fan Strong's Fairchild in Blades of Glory. Okay, well, I realized that halfway through the movie last night. I'm like, it's Strong's! Okay, but anyways. They're like demon hunters, kind of. Or, or possession, possessive item collectors. So they have a whole bunch of different items that were like the possessed item from the house that affected everyone. Okay, so back to the story. The little girl finds this little carousel windy box that plays music out by the lake. She twists it, and in the mirror behind her, she sees a little boy. Um, the little boy wasn't that scary when he would appear. It, it was just like someone there. But but then the de demonic hunters go to their house, and then all this stuff happens. Like, the one girl's dragged around the room by her hair being pulled. Um, and then, actually, the mom of the family ends up actually getting possessed by the witch woman. Previously in the house... A different family that also lived there, the mom killed her, uh, killed the son, who was in the spinny box thing, killed him in the basement, so the basement was also haunted with that. Um, the witch hung herself out by the tree and said, anyone who takes her land, she is going to come back and get. It was sudden they like tracked the deaths that had happened in that area of land since the time that she hung herself. 
um, the, that thing was really creepy, like, the witch when it came back, when it possessed the mom when they were doing the exorcism on the mom, like, the face came through, they had a sheet over her, but then, like, the face came through the sheet, the face looked very, very plastic and fake, like, I've seen movies that, like, do really, really good demonic characters, this was not one of them, that's, I really didn't like that, at all, um, but the storyline was something that would usually happen in a scary movie, the acting wasn't that great, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I found it terrifying. I don't know if I found it so terrifying because I saw it in the theater. I think that might have been a big part of it because if I watched this at home, I feel like I would have laughed at most of it, especially when, like, the girl rose up, or the mom, when she was possessed, she, like, rose up out of the chair. Um, I mean, I, if you're really, really into scary movies, this one probably won't do it for you. Uh, if you watch it at your home, uh, if you see it in the theater, it might, I don't really know, but by the time I got to my car and drove home from that movie, I wasn't scared anymore, it was just like in the theater while it was happening, I slept fine last night, <laughs> um, so that's how, like, I base my scare factor off if, if I'm laying in bed that night, before I go to bed thinking about the movie and I can't sleep because of it, that, because I'm terrified of it, that's, if I deem it scary or not, and this one didn't really do it. It was terrifying while it was happening, but afterwards it wasn't that scary. And next week I probably won't remember the name of the movie. Uh, you you guys all know those kind of movies where you see it and then you just like, forget it. One movie, scariest movie of all time I have ever seen. I don't think anything will ever top it was Insidious. I was thinking about that movie for months. I still am terrified of that movie. It was a fantastic movie if you have uh, not seen it highly recommend you see it because it was absolutely terrifying it's about astral projection if you don't know what that is you should google it because it's awesome um but i think that's all i have to say overall rating on a scale of one to ten i think i would give conjuring about a four a four seems decent um scare factor during was about a seven scare factor afterwards was about Two. But my sister sat with the thing up her, over her face the whole movie. She's like, I only watched half the movie because I was so scared. Okay. It's, there's a lot of parts. There's not really a lot. There's a handful of parts that actually get you to jump. Um, and the ending was, the ending left you not asking any more questions. The ending left you being resolved with everything. And it was a happy ending. The family was all okay. Um, I'm doing a movie review! Oh. That's my brother. He's in the kitchen. Um, the ending left you not asking any more questions or it didn't leave room for a sequel to happen. It, it ended with the lady looking into the mirror and then nothing appearing behind her in the screen went black. After they had already done all the possession and got rid of the spirits and stuff. But that's how it ended. Uh, the ending was really disappointing. I don't really like happy endings. I like endings where everyone dies as morbid as that sounds. But if you have ever seen, like... What's it called? Oh, also the mom from Orphan was in there. She was one of the demon hunters in it. What's it called? The Uninvited. If you've ever seen The Uninvited, that's also a great movie. I love that ending. That twist ending was crazy. It blew my mind. It's still, the, like, one of the best endings I've seen. But that's all. If you have seen this movie, leave a comment below if you liked it or if you didn't like it. Um, that's pretty much, pretty much all there is. <laughs> my, my brother's yelling about crackers. So I'm going to go. I'm going to drink my kombucha. And I'm going to go get cool because I'm, like, really sweaty right now. So I love you guys. I will see you all. Sometime soon. Oh, one more last thing. Um, I am doing, I'm going to do another Q&A video because everyone has been asking me a lot of questions lately since I got back from treatment. So, go to my Tumblr, put in inbox on my Tumblr. It's nonveganom.com or dot tumblr.com slash ask. Or you can go to my Tumblr page. It's a bit. Also, you can go to my fan page, which is facebook.com slash a walking cartoon character. All this is linked below, and you can 
send me a message there for questions or leave a comment under my status for questions. I will be doing the video in a couple days, so you have a couple days to get these in. But I'm going to go now. I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend if I don't talk to you. Bye.